You've got questions, Nick's got answers. This is the Nick Explainer, and today we're taking on the Animal Kingdom. Well, blast me, Dangos. You've got me attention, Mike. Hibernation, why we yawn, and doggy noses. Why does Sandy Cheeks hibernate? How come it's different from normal sleep? Great questions. Squirrels, bears, and all sorts of animals hit the snooze button once winter hits and don't wake up till spring has sprung. But this cozy cat nap is pretty magical. Here's why. Hibernation is more than just a super long nap. It's actually a series of super long sleeps that can last days or weeks. During that time, animals' bodies go through intense changes. No, not that kind of change. Its heartbeat slows down and its breathing slows down and their body temperature drops like crazy. All this happens so they barely use any energy at all. It's like when you're traveling and you put your phone in low power mode and don't use battery draining apps, so the battery lasts until you can charge it again. But for animals, the charge comes from food. During the winter, there's not a lot to eat in the wilderness. So instead of wandering around being super hungry, they take a low power mode nap. There's other reasons to hibernate too. Some animals treat it like an expert game of hide and seek, where they find a super good hiding spot and stay perfectly still while hibernating so predators won't find them. Uh, found ya! So who's the best at hibernating? This little guy is an edible dormouse and can sleep in for a solid 11 months. When they're not hibernating, they double or triple in size. The Arctic ground squirrel is by far the coolest hibernator and pretty much the coolest animal ever, because when they hibernate in their underground burrow, their body temperature goes below freezing. That's colder than any mammal. Want a blanket? So when it's winter in Sandy's tree dome, she hibernates because food is scarce so she can conserve her energy and wait it out until the snow melts and food is sprouting. Though if I were her, I would just eat some Krabby Patties. I never thought I'd say it, but thank Neptune for hibernation. <laughs> Why do I yawn when I see someone else yawn? <laughs> Let me Nick explain that for you. But first, let's start with a quick game of you yawn, you lose. See if you can last 10 seconds without yawning, if you haven't yawned already. Yawn. And go. <laughs> Time's up. How did you do? Up to 70% of people yawn when they see someone else yawn, hear a yawn, or even read the word yawn. And you want to yawn even more when someone tells you not to yawn. Don't even think about yawning. Did you do it? But yawning this way doesn't necessarily mean you're tired. The urge to yawn when someone else yawns is something people know how to do as babies without being taught, just like learning to walk or eat. It's something that humans do naturally. But scientists are still stumped about exactly why you yawn when you see other people yawn. And they're also still researching why people yawn at all. It might be to help get more air into your lungs when you're low on oxygen. It also might be to stretch your jaw and face muscles. Or it might just be your way of yelling with no sound. What scientists do know, though, is that humans aren't the only ones yawning. Birds, chimpanzees, dogs, and more all have super cute yawns. But what you might not know is that the bigger an animal's brain is, the longer they yawn for. So you can totally win a yawning contest against your dog. But don't challenge a hippo to a yawning contest. Hippos use yawns as a threat to show off their monstrous mouth. I mean, you've seen what they can do to watermelons, right? Yikes. Adorable. Next question. Why are dogs' noses wet? Smells like the perfect question to explain. There are three things that make dogs' noses get and stay wet. A dog's nose is super different than our nose, and their sense of smell is between 10,000 and 100,000 times better than ours. And the wetness on their nose is one of the main reasons. It's kind of like a sponge. When it's wet, it can absorb and hold on to more things. When a dog's nose is wet with a thin layer of mucus, it absorbs and traps scent chemicals. That's the first thing that keeps a dog's nose wet. The same stuff that's in your nose. Gotta hydrate. <laughs> But the smell train doesn't stop there. Dogs lick their noses to collect those smells and give them a taste in their mouth's olfactory glands to increase their sense of smell. And that's the second nose wetter, saliva from licking their nose. Can you touch your nose with your tongue like dogs do? Let us know in the comments below. Finally, a dog's nose is for more than just sniffing out trouble. Ever notice that your dog doesn't sweat? Instead of sweaty pits, dogs sweat through their nose and their feet. 
So between sweat, mucus, and their own tongue saliva, dogs' noses are almost always wet and ready for action. I hope this Nixplainer Nixplained everything that you needed Nixplained. Write your burning questions in the comments below, and you might see them next time on Nixplainer. Smells like we're done. Bye! Nick, 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 Nick.